What's up guys, hope you all are doing great. In this video right here, we'll be creating an FTP server with Python. So just a quick explanation of what an FTP server is, and then we actually get into creating or connecting our server to FileZilla that we'll be using right here. And when we've done that, then I'll show you how we can actually upload files, how we can download files, and also how we can print the content of the downloaded files. Yeah, let me just explain what FTP is. So FTP is a standard communication protocol that is used for the transfer of computer files from a server to a client on a computer network. And this FTP server are the solutions that are used to facilitate the transfer across the internet. So we'll be using a client and a server as usual. And yeah, this is just a nice thing to know because it's really cool what we're gonna do here. We'll be able to put files there, we'll be able to actually download them. And yeah, everything is gonna be on your server. So you know what, let's get started. The first thing that is a requirement for this video is you should have a web hosting platform that you connect to. I'll leave in the description below two web hosting platforms. One is a German one and the other is HostGator, which is really popular. A lot of people use HostGator to actually host their website and we're going to use HostGator for this, but the other German website I'm going to leave down can perfectly work for this too. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to create the username and the password for our FTP server on HostGator. And when we're through with that, we'll go to FileZilla, which is right here, and we'll paste it and connect this FileZilla to the FTP server. And when we're done with that, then it's time for the Python code. So we'll get to Python and just start coding up how to upload, how to download, and actually how to read files. So you know what? Let's get started. Now you can see that I'm actually on my portal right here. This is HostGator.com, the portal. So when you get to the portal, what you need to do is just launch your cPanel. Now that we've done that, what we need to do next is we need to scroll down here to FTP account. You click on FTP account. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to actually create our FTP account username. In this case, I'll just call it FTP tutorial. And now we create a password. I'll give the password, I'll say Sam Codes. And we put the password again. Okay, now that we've done that, here we can specify the way we want our directory to be. You can leave this as its default. It's gonna work perfectly. And also the quota, you can leave it at unlimited or 2000 megabytes, but yeah. The next thing we do is we create our server. And we can see right here, we see FTP tutorial. Now that we've done that, it's time to actually get to our FileZilla. But before we do that, now what I want us to do before we go to FileZilla is I want us to launch the cPanel. And this is what you should get right here. And I want you to copy this code right here, this IP address. It's the shared IP address because we will need this to actually connect FileZilla to our FTP account. Now we're at FileZilla. And in the host section, you paste the IP address you just copied, which is the shared IP. Now we actually put our username and the username is what we just created, which in my case is this right here, FTP tutorial. So I copy the username. And I paste it right here. And now it's time for the password and the password was Sam codes. And we don't need to specify a port. You just click on quick connection. And we can see that it's connected because we can see the file name. We don't really have anything inside, but now we're connected with our FTP account with FileZilla. Now it's actually time to get to Python and start coding. Okay guys, so you can see right now that we have our comments in place. Like I always say, you need a destination if you wanna get somewhere. So this is our destination, and we're just gonna follow each comment and put the code inside to just have a really nice and clean code. So guys, the first thing we need to do is we need to import FTP lib. And the way we do that is, I'll leave in the description below, you just need to go to a web page, and that web page, you copy the command that's there, you take the command and you paste it right here in your terminal, and then you have FTP lib installed. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually create our host. So we create our host username and password. We specify the same 
host and username and password we used for our FileZilla. So in this case, I'll just say host with a capital since they're kind of like constants. And then next is username or just user, the same thing and password. Just gonna go to FileZilla real quick and copy the host name, paste it right there. Then I do the same for the username. And finally the password, which is Sam codes. So now we've actually specified all this. What we need to do next is we need to connect to the FTP server. Yeah, and the way we connect to the FTP server is we say FTP. We set that equal to FTP lib dot FTP with a capital. And now we specify, we say host, then username, and then password. What we need to do next is we need to force the UTF-8 encoding. And we do that by saying FTP.encoding is equal to UTF-8. So now if you run this, you shouldn't get any error. So the way I want us to know if we're connected to a server is I want us to actually upload a file to the server. And the way we'll upload a file is we'll first, we'll say file name is equal to, and this file is going to be called tutorial.txt. What we'll do next is we'll say with open, and inside here we'll say file name, and then we say RB as file. What I want to do next is I want to use the FTP store command to actually upload the file. So we'll say FTP dot store line store binary, yeah. And then we say F store and then we're using the f string or string literals and then we put the file name and also the file now that we've done that, I also want to see the list of directories after uploading this file. So we just say ftp.dir. So now that we have our code in place, what we need to do next is we need to actually create the file that we want to upload to our server. And the first thing we need to do is we go to our notepad. Or you can use whatever you use to make notes and I'll say right here this is the file we want to upload and we'll just save it right here and what I'm going to save it as is tutorial.txt so now we have tutorial.txt but I want to navigate it, so I'm going to open it. Yeah, so we save as, and we just take it to the same directory that we have actually our project in. So I'm navigating to that file. Yeah, and mine is in PyCharm projects. can see FTP protocol that's the name of it and I'm just gonna save it right here and you can see it shows up right here now we've saved our txt file inside our project file which is FTP protocol so now that we've done that we can actually upload it so let me just show you how we upload it we just run the program and we can see right here we get our directory and inside the directory you can actually see tutorial.txt 
this shows us that it has been uploaded but you know another way we can see if it's been uploaded we check filezilla and i'm just gonna refresh it and you can see right here tutorial.txt and that's it even if you try to open it view or edit you can see here, this is the file we want to upload so this has been uploaded now what we're going to do to download the file is we're going to create a file from filezilla and we'll be able to download it and actually print the content of whatever we have inside it the way you create a file in your filezilla is you right click and after that you click on this create new file we'll give it a name we'll call it new file dot txt because we need to specify that click on ok now i'm going to open this file so click on this view or edit and i'll place something inside i'll say this is the file we want to download and I'll save it cancel it and now we have that in place and just to make sure it's called new file.txt now let's put the code to actually download this file but before we do that i'm going to right here comment out the uploading part so we can put the downloading part so the first thing we need to do is we need to actually give the name of the file we want to download from the ftp server okay and we'll store that file in a variable called file name is equal to and the file name was let me just check filezilla again is new file.txt what we do next we'll say with open because we want to open it say file name then we'll say wb as file now that we've done that what we do next is we actually we say ftp dot retrieve binary and then we use the f string again i'll say r e t r or the string literal and we'll say file name after that we'll say file dot write and we're not calling it we're referring to it so now that we've done that we want to actually display the content of the downloaded file and the way we do that is we'll say file is equal to open and then we'll say file name and r and after that we just print say file content and we just put file dot read and this time we're actually calling it we're not referring to it and after that you don't have to do this but yeah you can also do it we're just going to quit the connection because that's actually it for this tutorial and now we just run our code and see the magic happen you can see the content this is the file we want to download so we can see it right here and right here you can also see new file.txt you click it you see it right here too this is the file we wanted to download so hopefully guys you enjoyed it you followed through if you did be proud of yourself and yeah now you actually know how to use ftp server and know how the whole client and server work together hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll catch you on the next one.